welcome back to December Daily Day 9 and today I arrived home quite late um, for an activity that you will see me journal about in a bit and basically what happened tonight is after work I decided to go meet a couple of friends to have picnic at a park nearby I only arrived home at around 10 so currently after filming and currently recording this voiceover, it is 11 p.m. So we are going to keep this short and sweet. And we're also keeping the journaling short and sweet. So I didn't really have any quote unquote ephemera from the picnic. So I just picked up uh, Shake Shack uh, on the way. And I didn't really have anything else to go with it apart from this bag and the food boxes, which contain our trash, which we got rid of. I wanted to save the shopping bag so that I could at least journal with it. And I thought that because this is big, it's perfect and I could probably cover half a spread or even a little bit more with this. So I'm just playing around with some white pants, black pants, trying to see how it looks on the page and trying to make it as simple as possible. And then I kind of drew the size of this traveler notebook insert on the shopping bag of the Shake Shack logo. I cut through it in the middle a little bit. And then I was deciding the placement before I decided to glue it down and this time I decided to use Elmer's glue instead of a tape runner because for a tape runner, once it's set down, you kind of are not able to move it. But with a glue, you can kind of swish it around a little bit and align it a little bit more. And for something as crucial as this and covers a lot of space like this, I thought that the wiggle room might prove to be beneficial. So here I am just drawing a border around and also a little X for good measure. Um, pretty sure it's not really necessary, but I kind of like it to stick down anyway. And here I am just checking the alignment, making sure that the page is folded in quite well. And then I'm just cutting off the excess shopping bag parts with a scissor, with a pair of scissors because it's not singular. Anyways, now I am just testing out some layouts. I am using this Tombow um, dual brush pen and the uh, marker tip, not the brush pen tip, to doodle out some design ideas. So sometimes I do do this um, in advance before deciding what I want to draw and before actually filming this. But today I didn't really have the time to do it and I thought that it would also be nice to see how the black would look on this uh, shopping bag craft kind of color paper. And then while I was trying to decide the doodle with the marker, I decided that actually, no, I'm gonna keep it quite simple and don't really have an outline apart from the really simple silhouette. So I am just going to color in everything in black and also in the top part, I'm gonna color the heads in black. It's a little bit confusing, but you'll see it in a bit. I also realized that coloring in the page with this dual brush pen is quite useful because I can grab a lot of surface area with just a few strokes and it's also pretty um, cathartic to be able to color over such a big area of paper. A little bit therapeutic, cathartic, um, both of them at once actually. And I really decided like, oh, I should have done this a few days ago for the night sky, but now I realize I am able to do it for kind of other spreads throughout the rest of December since we are only on day 9 and we are going all the way till 25 which means we have about 14 more days to go. Whew, that's quite a while. After drawing it in, I decided that there are some stuff that I want to cover with a white Posca pen but it's not really working out the way I want to. So I'm going to wait for the Posca pen to dry. Actually, I just dabbed it off. And then I will probably use this white watercolor from Greenleaf and Blueberry to cover it up. But learning from my mistake from yesterday, I'm going to journal first before I decided to put any of the watercolor and also the dates in gold Colero color in. Just so that when I journal, I can actually just write comfortably instead of having to hover my hand in a really weird position just to make sure that it doesn't overlap. Anyways, I just wrote down about the picnic, um, what we ate, and how it was a peaceful and chill night. So now I'm just doing in the final details, whiting out the silhouettes with the white paint, and also drawing in the nine, 
I know it still looks a little bit wet here, but when it dries, it does dry a little bit shinier. So now I'm just lay outing everything and I am quite happy with how this spread is looking and how simple it is. And with that, I'll be signing out for today. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye!